Mike Callahan, Dr. FileFinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch.com tutorial on how to add hardware that isn't plug and play. The majority of devices are Universal Plug and Play, or UPNP, but some aren't. Or you may buy a piece of hardware in a garage sale or someplace else where you don't have a CD to install drivers and so on. So we'll click Start, Settings, and then click on Control Panel. When Control Panel comes up, the second icon here is Add Hardware. We'll pull that down so it's easier to see, and we'll close Control Panel because we don't need it. Now what it's saying is that if you have an installation CD, it's recommended that you click Cancel here to close this out and install with the CD that the manufacturer provided. Well, we'll click Next, and Windows is searching to see if it can find any hardware that it thinks needs to be installed. Now I want to show you this part because if you say no I haven't added the hardware wet yet which means you haven't connected it to the computer you click next and it'll tell you they can't continue to add the hardware that you have to you have to connect the hardware but in most cases you would want to connect the hardware first so if it's a printer you got at a garage sale you can connect the printer first so say yes I have already connected the hardware now click next now you see here Windows shows you a list of things that it thinks it might be. So it's got everything from the sound card to a USB drive to a floppy drive. And you can pick the thing that it is. So say it's a USB mouse. We'll say next, completing the add hardware wizard. The device is working properly. You click finish and, and you're done. So that's the process you would use to add hardware that either didn't come with an installation CD that isn't universal plug and play by default or hardware that you got at a secondhand store or a garage sale or someplace else. And that's all there is to it.